Oh, it's a first of its kind tool that forecasts the amount of solar energy available across Singapore up to an hour ahead of time. Such data from Solar Energy Research Institute, Ceres, will mean a more reliable power grid since authorities can take earlier steps to balance supply using other sources. This as demand grows for this particular source of renewable energy. Chloe Chu with this report. It may seem like clear skies right now, but it was storming just a few hours earlier. Singapore's unpredictable climate is exactly what Ceres needed to overcome to more efficiently harness the power of the sun. Because when it comes to this power source, it's all about intensity. So if you have an installed capacity of say one kilowatt, you get this one kilowatt at full sun intensity and then you have, if there's a 30% drop, because there might be clouds coming by, uh, there's also a 30% drop in power output. So the cloud cover and how much in sun intensity hits the solar panel, that's uh, very critical to uh, understand how much sun solar energy is generated. To better predict the sun's power, Ceres is counting on some 25 stations set up a decade ago to measure irradiance. Their original purpose was to track the performance of solar panels around the island. Now, the data recorded serves a larger purpose. These solar panels have irradiance stations that measure the intensity of sunlight. That's a key factor when it comes to forecasting, together with other satellite data on weather and cloud movement. The sensors will transmit live data to the office and forecasts can be generated in five minute intervals. The Institute studies data collected over the years and with the help of artificial intelligence, provides a forecast to the Energy Market Authority. This is especially crucial as the nation aims to deploy at least 2 gigawatt peak of solar capacity by 2030. That's enough energy to power 350,000 households a year. So having a reliable solar forecasting model to predict solar irradiance ahead of time is a step towards enhancing Singapore's grid infrastructure, uh, grid resilience and flexibility. So this is important as we maximise solar deployment in Singapore as part of our efforts to meet our target of achieving net zero carbon emissions by 2050. Ceres plans to sell its forecasting system to other tropical countries too. It comes as demand for such a service is rising and as pressure heats up for solar farms worldwide to manage their grids more efficiently.